The chieftain. Was he the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls. the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors, and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see
is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword helped me. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <laughs> oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. No different from these lands. It was warmer. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Oh, 
all of them. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <gasps> the wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. <laughs> there. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. I didn't tell them that he's here. Above your fire! <laughs> <laughs> trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up.
feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> it seems he was guarding that way outside. memory a rather hostile memory at that these fates should know i will not be deterred <laughs> Yeah! 
Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core!
straight, brother. Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! official. My boy. I feel everything. Alter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Alter, come back! Talk to me! Oh! <laughs> 
Any way I could. Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought his favor. You wanted his war. You wanted to mistreat everyone and everything. And you never gave a damn until you turned on. I know, Seeker. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... We were an ally to pray in this suffering, to die, to crumble, or to die. No! You only took the side of the powerful men to use them. Lover, watch out. There's more of them. Even now, you see a violent god in need, and you can't help but aid him and call him thrust. It's who you always it is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the loss by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless he was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs>
we're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When and my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. 
We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahor. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Can we agree? It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> brother, about the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. But enough of that for now.
my neck from. Oh, we used to travel through this temple constantly. A quick how do you do to Brock? Then off on another adventure. You miss it? Aye. Everything for help. Simpler then. Agreed. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. to see better days. Haven't we all? Kratos, do you remember when I brought you and Atreus in here for the first time? Seems like lifetimes ago. I do. And it was because of your guidance we were able to fulfill Faye's last wish. Ahem. And yours as well, Mimir. It was Seekrim then who helped you retrieve your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guess? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But help me just the same. Brother, what you said before about the oracles of your land being fooled by their own prophecies, I get the sense that was coming from personal experience, eh? Yes. Hang on, brother. That building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. It's only strange in view. Let's take a closer look. Yeah! <laughs> 
shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. <laughs> <laughs> We just need to open the gate. Well done. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasure? Aye, it does. Secret expansion. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. Ugh! <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.